Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the Overall Nerds. Uh, today is our first episode in one of our series, starting called the. Uh, What's it called? The Versus. Versus series, but it's not traditional. It's not like fighting. It's you know, it's about like a certain character versus mm. another attribute of a certain character. Today we're doing Daniel Larusso versus Johnny Lawrence from the Cobra Kai series, and the question is, who is the bear teacher? Um, it's one I've kind of wondered for a while. It's kind of like after watching the series, who who treats the students better, who gets the best out of them, their method, stuff like that. So we, I think we have like topics there. That we, we have kind of think. we have seven categories. So it's out of seven, and whoever has the most points at the end basically is wins. Right. We both have our kind of like it's good. Good. We've got a lot of balance here for lack mm. of you know balance, because I'm very much in the Daniel Russo corner, whereas he's very much in the Johnny Lawrence corner. Mm. Um, so yeah. So let's get started. Our first category for who is the best teacher is who was their mentor. So you mean like who was the better man? Like who had the better teacher of the teachers? Okay. So basically, in my case, Mr. Miyagi, I think it's a pretty normal one, and Chris. So obviously, we can he set say, me up. Yeah, well, it's going to be given this one. No, but as in, as in, as in, realistically, yeah, as in, okay, we're going to give the point to Daniel. But if you really think about it, like, because Miyagi was so, like, such a high standard, standard, and Daniel's constantly trying to live up to this standard, mm. it makes sense as to, you know, why Daniel's probably not sometimes as good teaching because he's trying to compare himself with someone who just had it all figured out he's trying to copy mr miyagi thinking he is mr miyagi when he's not he's his own person with his own flaws so while daniel did have a better teacher i would say he's actually led daniel to be a worse teacher in that respect because he's not trying to do his own thing he's just trying to copy miyagi which mm. is what he's been trying to struggle he's, what he's been struggling with for the last couple of seasons mm. but yeah i think we'll give the point to LaRusso. point Poop. LaRusso. okay uh, but, uh, we didn't talk about Chris, did we? Chris did we need to talk about Chris? Yeah. No. no. He, he was he was a he was a bad dude, you know. His his, his, his methods don't work for the way of life, and maybe you know him for karate at points with how he wants to cheat at points. Um, he had his own methods for that. We saw in season four, and he was like, "You're down two points, blah blah. blah. If you lost this, you're going down a path." Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know Johnny, but he doesn't know what's best for Johnny. I think that's exactly. the difference between Mr Miyagi and Chris. Exactly. Uh, methods. So we know we know Johnny's got a very cutthroat method. We're talking clearly like purely just the, like the trainings. So the way they do their training. Obviously, Johnny's a bit more dangerous, but you have to understand that. Like, okay, if we take the two, if we take like for example Miguel and Robbie, you know Miguel was like this timid little boy who had nothing, mm. and Johnny turned him into a beast. Arguably one of the best fighters that we have. I think. Um... Johnny helps break the mental barrier. It kind of it depends on who they're teaching. Uh, sometimes, if you're teaching an already sort of confident person, it might go overboard with Johnny when he mm. gives them all these like um, lessons, aggressive training methods. Whilst with Daniel, it kind of helped Robbie be in that more calmer way of life, sort of like mm. meditating, finding balance. He dropped a pen. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know who has the better methods because... I think Daniel, yeah, the thing is, Daniel's methods, like, they seem to work better purely just because, like, in terms of, like, we're talking, like, in terms of making them fight. That I would actually argue the average miyagi Do fighter is better than the average Cobra Kai fighter or Evil Fang fighter in that respect. Because it's like, learning defense is so much more important, I feel, than being aggressive. Mm. Especially, you know, Daniel Luso won the tournament in 1984. Mm. Not because he was good at punching, but because he just knew how to defend himself. Yeah. So I'd say Daniel's methods are actually better in terms of just... And it's also a better message as well. You know, you won't end up getting all angry and aggressive because of your ways of life. That's not what Miyagi even teaches. Mm. I guess, yeah. I'd say Johnny's does work, but only for a certain type of person. But even then it can go wrong before. Yeah, exactly. It depends. So, like, you can get people who've been hit down their whole lives, and when they find some power, they get crazy with it. Like, cool. But then you get people like Miguel, who were actually just somewhat okay with it. Even he, though, he gave in at the end yeah. of season one. He got a bit aggressive. That was because Johnny wasn't like the teacher he was yeah. that he is now. He learned, he was himself still learning mm. about um, honor and mercy and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And how... So, I guess now Johnny's methods. Oh, yeah, we were, we were talking very basic Cobra Kai. If we're talking about Eagle Fang specific, mm. I didn't see much difference between Cobra Kai and Eagle Fang, if you ask me. It's about like not 
It's about, the dude it's about down. being badass but showing mercy at the same yeah. time. So, well, well, it's Cobra Kai is like, no matter what, you find their weakness, you you beat them down. Yeah, and you don't show no mercy. You kick the man when he's down, basically. Well, Secret Plan is like, you're just there to, to win a match. And then yeah. You step out. Uh, I don't mind giving it to Daniel. I think it has to go to Daniel just because the wax on wax off and even like it's every time you see him it's not even like punching and stuff it's just ways of life and you know you know that scene you know it caused me when I was yeah. a scene in the freezer and a scene in the sun where like you're using the weather to like you know anticipate and yeah. circle method like all that kind of stuff is just so much that's cool yeah you know and what the I mean? balance on the um, floating thing there yeah, yeah. exactly so we'll, we'll go to Daniel Frank. okay so that's two points to Daniel mm. now we're talking about motivation I would actually argue this way Johnny probably gets his first what do you point. mean when you say motivation I mean why are they teaching yeah. Johnny did it because he genuinely has a calling to this and he wants to help out Mia and Miguel and the, the start. Mm. Right? And he wants well, to help Daniel's kids. motivation is that he fears that Johnny's teaching the wrong can go things. a bit awire. Which he was right in season one, sort of, with how um, Miguel turned out and yeah. kind of how it affected different people like Hawk or Robbie at points. So Daniel does have a, a decent motivation, but he also, I feel like he's doing it just out of spite uh, some, sometimes. Yeah, it's not the right motivation, I would say. It's because he's, yeah, he's doing it because he wants to beat Cobra Kai. I mean, that's how he starts out. What's his motivation in, like... Now, we'll it, now it's more like Daniel's in a mess. Because because Daniel started this little karate war mm. by opening up his own doji, he's actually put his kids... When Chris was in his garden saying, you better help your soldiers already. Yeah. He's saying, what the fuck have I done? Like, mm. I need to get yeah. my kids ready. So the motivations are a bit flawed. So he does want to be a better person. Yeah, but Johnny Johnny's becoming a better person through these teachings. I wouldn't say Daniel becoming a sensei has made him like a better person. I think I think he was pretty normal before he became a sensei. I think he's gone a bit better. I remember season three and season four, him learning about how he's not always right, and I think that's like something that grows with him. Hmm. I think that's happened because of the teaching and, and seeing the error of his ways a bit. But I ended up fine for Daniel. Really. Oh, only, only, no, not for motivation, but just in this little segment here. I do, I do want to give it to Johnny though, just because he's come from that low point and risen to that jo- high point. The way I see it is Johnny needs this, mm. whereas Daniel's just doing it because he feels like he yeah, yeah, has yeah. to help. Kid. Like, I don't know, he feels like there's this war going on, but I very much think by the end of season six, Daniel would have stopped teaching and Johnny would still go. Yeah, all right. Johnny genuinely cares about his students, I feel like, a lot more, whereas yeah. Daniel, he obviously cares, but it's also just like, I don't know, does he know his students like a personal level the way Johnny does? I don't think I so. Don't it's think like so. one of my main issues with Daniel. Very, like, yeah. So let's give it to Johnny. So that's 2 1 uh, to Daniel. Products. Yeah, so we're talking about the students now. So, okay, like, I think we can just base it off like their best students. So, Miguel. Miguel and Robbie. I mean, obviously, Sam. Sam doesn't count because Sam's not really a student. She's been she's with Daniel in ages. So, yeah, but she started when she was nine. She's his first student. Yeah, his first student. But we, we, we're talking more like. Just from just like just starting off from scratch and onwards, then we can only see about Robbie. So who are Johnny's real products? So there's Miguel. I say Johnny's real products are Miguel and Hawk. Although Hawk could arguably be a product of Chris, but I'd say Miguel and Hawk. How good was Hawk when he was done with Johnny? It was fine. He, he made it to the semi-finals. Robbie. Yeah, he made it to the semi-finals. And then Daniel going. Ugh, it's ho- so hard to judge Hawk because he's like he's been everywhere. He's so the only one that's can't give his. Three. You can't give his like attributes just to one person. Well, he's the winner now, and that was because maybe he didn't maybe argue do. So maybe he's Daniel's student right now. We have to kind of take it at the point we are. Yeah, but at the same time, the reason he started winning was because Daniel finally was like, do your Cobra okay, Kai. do your Cobra Kai stuff. Put yeah, him on offense or whatever. But Put I think it was defense. the perfect blend. Like it was, like, if you actually think about it, the final was so cool because you had this, you had a blend of both. You mm. had a Cobra Kai and Miyagi Do student, and you had a Miyagi and, and you saw how affected both of them are. Exactly. Um. So there's Miguel for Johnny, and I guess Robbie's. He is Daniels. I don't think he learned much at Cobra Kai. I don't know. Because the cause way they've shown it, Miguel is just like, he has that edge over everyone. He does. Maybe apart from Sam. I think Sam does count as um, One Daniels, of the best fighters, yeah. Uh, like she did lose to Tori. Yeah. Who is sort of... But I also think class. that's because like she just let her guard down a bit. Like, she was really going... Again, like, you have to bear in mind, Tori's a better Cobra Kai than, Dan- uh, than Sam. So yeah. Sam's going the same way Hawk won because he's a better Cobra Kai than Robbie. It's the way Tori won because he's a better Cobra Kai than... Like, as in, if Tori tried to use Miyagi Do, Sam would have won. Mm. But Sam tried to use Cobra Kai, so Tori won. 
I don't know, it's so difficult. So I think once you must Miguel, and I guess you can say Paul. But then you know it's hard to say Paul. It's because a lot of these pilots have also trained under both. Yeah, that's the thing. So, but we have to take it. I'm like, Miguel was nothing. I'm sorry, Miguel couldn't even throw a punch. At least Robbie probably had some experience in that area. He he wasn't a fighter, but he was a bit rough. Mm. You know what I mean? And Daniel kind of honed that anger, whereas Miguel was just this guy who had an asthma pump who couldn't kick. Mike <laughs> got rid of his asthma. And Johnny turned him into a freaking beast, bro. Yeah. In legit a year and a half. Season two, he's like Pete Miguel and he beats everyone. Everyone, like he beats he Robbie. Can't, he defeated Robbie. The forget beats, he just legit had him in an arm lock. Yeah. Robbie can do anything. Damn. Besides kicking him off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I, I don't know, Miguel. The thing is, Miguel's the only product that I would like solely give to Johnny. And as Miguel's the best. He's not, I don't know if he's the best in the show. I mean, he might be the best in the show, but Sam is also Daniel's sole product. Yeah, true. And she's like, but then also the best John, in the show. Miguel trained, was trained for one year. Sam's trained for her whole life. She did take a, she took a big break. break. Yeah, it was a five year break. Mm. <laughs> ah, ah. I'll give it to Johnny. He has I'll Miguel, give it to Johnny. Hawk. He has two champions. I mean, Hawk is Daniel's. But, but he was only trained for Daniel for four months, you know? Yeah. Dimitri. And sort of thing, like, we're talking about teaching here, and teaching is like when you're learning your basics and fundamentals, and who taught Hawk and Miguel their basics? It was Johnny, right? So, yeah. We'll give it, we'll give it to we'll give Johnny. Johnny. So now it's 2 2. Well, I think it's a very balanced like area. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of the show. Is yeah, they can't have like kids. one teacher just have clearly better people. Yeah. Personality. I think it usually goes to Johnny. I think Johnny learns from what he does better than Daniel does, and that helps his personality in moving forward. Um, uh, yeah, my issue with Daniel is I feel like he sometimes gives up too easily. At yeah. Point, like, end of season one, when he gives up on Robbie, I think that's... He's too hot-headed, man. Like, Daniel, like, his personality is not suited to be some sort of authority figure. How many times in the last three, four seasons has he lost his head and lost a connection with one of the kids and had to have a little talk on a bed or something to get him back? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like um, like with Hawk in season four when he's like, oh, you did all that stuff to him, what can you expect when you probably should have been a bit more calm with it? One thing, like, yeah. Johnny is never just giving up on a girl. Never, not one. That's the thing. He he's giving up on Robbie. Him. That's the thing, yeah. Which is bad. But the thing is, that's more, that's not as, whilst that's a father thing, it's not a student thing. Yeah. In terms of like. It'd be interesting to see their relationship in season five. Mm. But uh, I have to give it to Johnny. He just, like I said with the, even in, um. He comes to his senses there, like what I showed you in the season three clip where Johnny yeah. goes to the to the rematch fight and he's like, maybe this isn't, maybe there's another way, maybe this isn't the best idea. And Daniel's yeah. just like, no, I'm right, you know? And that personality he's, of like yeah, being hard-headed and being like, right. Like his whole arc in season four is, you're not right all the time. You've well, do you that. think they would have won against Cobra Kai if Johnny just said, okay, cool, Miguel, I want you to go train me, I'll do it? No. So I think that's what hampers Daniel's personality. Yeah, I, he just hasn't, like Johnny, he just, he cares a lot. And yeah, I guess he gave he up at the end of season cares, three. But like, it's because of his upbringing that he yeah. has that damage. So you kind of understand him whilst Daniel, He's had he comes some... from Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, so like, he should have more understanding. Bro. Mr. Miyagi would never just shout at someone because they were lost. Even yeah. when Daniel and Kwaki Kithu was shouting at Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi just kept a calm face and was just like, okay, mm. cool. And then the second Daniel said, can you help me? And he's like, yeah, of course I will. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Daniel would show a bit of like, grudging. And yeah, like a bit of a grudge. So I'll, I'll give it to Johnny. Three, two to Johnny. Um, impact. Okay. Also, going back to methods, I'm kind of glad we gave it to Daniel because Johnny was like having his kids like jump on the fucking roofs and going into cement that, trucks. Yeah, that's that, that season was a bit like that's mad. Like, bro, if they fall, they're dead. They're dead. But that's anyway. what I'm saying. You get little <laughs> matches at the bottom. He's like, I got a mattress there. Yeah. Like, um, impact. Well, this is the funny thing. Like, do you, this whole thing, this whole war between the quality students, has started because Johnny decided to become a teacher. All has started because he's allowed Johnny, allowed Chris to come back into his life, which was just the worst thing he ever did. Yeah, but that also says about, his, I guess that's personality about his caring nature and wants to give second chances because he got one himself. Because one himself, yeah. Um, impact, impact on what though? Like the story, impact or students? on students. I'd actually argue. I think has Johnny made? Johnny's now a father figure to Miguel. You know. Yeah. Like I think that's pretty important. Impact on. Daniel's impact on Sam? A lot. I mean, it seems that Sam doesn't want... It seems that people gravitate more towards Johnny, if you ask me. Even Robbie's gone back to Johnny now. 
Robbie completely just hasn't even cared to even say anything to uh, Larusso. Mm. You know, he's had impact though, like Dimitri. I he's had a good cool. impact on Dimitri, but I can't. I, I reckon if Dimitri stuck with um, Johnny, I reckon he'd be pretty beast. Like, I don't know. I think Dimitri's pretty like that's a certain type of character that Johnny won't be able to get through. Maybe because he's just too sensitive. Maybe. Too in his ways. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. Daniel is very good at. Daniel's very good at getting people to like just kind of accept what's going on, opposed to like changing. Mm-hmm. Like flipping the script. Some people don't want to flip the script. Some people want to just be okay with being who they are. Yeah. Because what we've seen is Hawk isn't Hawk. Eli has been putting on this Hawk persona so much. So impact wise, you can say Johnny's had a negative impact with because of what he did in season one, where he wasn't fully, he didn't fully really realize what he had to teach and like his responsibilities. Mm-hmm. It did lead the kids to go down a dark path. With like Hawk and yeah, Miguel, Miguel very true. while Daniel's impact, I don't think it's ever led to a student turning evil. Would you say Robbie's evilness just came from his own jealousy? I, I think it's partly on Daniel, but it's also partly on Johnny, but that's not in a student form, that's the Marvel form. Johnny had a good impact on Aisha. Yeah. Aisha said, you know, she's having the best time. You know, she's a massive girl who's gone to a school in like some rich area. Mm. She could have easily just got had another situation where she's getting bullied. And she goes, well, I went to the biggest girl and showed her who's boss and now we're good mates. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's Johnny. Who are you into giving it to? I think Johnny has a... I just don't think in this day and age, right? Like, I know Miss Miyagi had a massive impact on LaRusso, but I just feel like it's just not... LaRusso isn't Miyagi, so he can't have the same impact on his kids that Miyagi had on him. Because yeah. he, just, he just can't do it. He's, he's not Miyagi. Yeah. Whereas Johnny is his own person and he's... Yeah, he's got some stupid methods of being honest, and he is. He does teach his students sometimes it's a bit dumb, and I, I don't really know, but he definitely has a more of an impact on his students than I think Louis, so... Are you giving it to Johnny again? I'm going to give it to Johnny again, yeah. My guy. I mean, Daniel can't win now. Yeah, know, yeah. Left, unless so, we're going to make another different category. No. So, potential. Potential I'm again. Another category. Huh? I'm going to add another category. Why? Because it's like, you know, it just could be cool. Um, potential goes to the potential like does Daniel have the potential to be a good teacher as well? I think Johnny has the potential to be like the best one of the best teachers yeah I don't, I'm not gonna lie though so I think so. I didn't think I didn't even really enjoy Johnny in the back half of season 4 I felt like he felt like such a side character in the back half of season 4 they do have a lot of characters especially yeah. Eagle Fang itself like how, how has he done with Eagle Fang and where do we see him going with Eagle Fang I see him taking over Cobra Kai again at some point I think in the current status, maybe Daniel's in a better position. He's got to he's got to match up with um, chosen. Mm. He's learned that his methods isn't the right way. Well, isn't the only way. I mean, um, he's willing to let Sam do both things. Potential wise, right now, where's Johnny right now? In terms, Johnny's of, in a better place than he. I think he's, he's probably the best place. at the moment. Is he? Yeah, he's, he's not. Is he? So technically, at this right right now, Johnny's quick. Mm. Also, again, like he just doesn't seem. I mean, I know he has the potential to become a great teacher, and I feel like that's what the show's going to end with. It's going to end with him just fulfilling his purpose, and Daniel's probably not going to be teaching anymore, mm. and he's going to be doing his thing with his family. But then Daniel, if he can just unlock that Miyagi, and he has had it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he has helped, like, like with Robbie and, and Robbie. And Sam, I mean, look, he turned Robbie Sam. into a really good person, and he turned Sam... Sam she, that whole like, talk in the head when she was facing Toby. Yeah, 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 exactly, moment. yeah, yeah. And she, he's had a lot of them. So, I think it, I think what will judge it maybe is how he deals with Anthony, his son. He deals with him quite well, I thought. He's failed him mostly. The only time he might have got across is when he did the. No, because he's oblivious, right? Daniel can be sometimes quite oblivious to a situation. He he can't fathom the fact that he's very arrogant in the sense that when he went to the principal's office, it's like, yeah, my son's being bullied. He's like, no, mate, your son was the bully. You know I think he's gone over that now. Yeah. With the now, whole like. Yeah. So I think that opens up his potential. And I'm Daniel like, was the one who went to Johnny in the tournament and said, look, he didn't need to go to Johnny. Johnny like, didn't I have need a, your help. Yeah, Johnny didn't have a champion yeah. there. So, and he had that whole thing, me arguing his ear, being like, you find your own way. Yeah. So I think Daniel's unlocked his, is on the great part of I think the only time Johnny's going to fully unlock his potential is when he figures out what he needs to figure out with Robbie and completely mm, gets Miguel yeah. back inside and then we're back on Johnny's like but right now you say Daniel I've already had I think right now sure. yeah. end of season 4 I think it's Daniel ok so but unfortunately Daniel's still it lost. was too little too late my boy so I'm, I'm uh, mostly a Johnny lover I would say I prefer Johnny but um, I know Ham's mostly Daniel so but yeah I think 
four three to Danny. Uh, I'm losing Danny because I just feel like I don't know, not as a teacher. I've always just preferred Daniel as a character, more or less. I prefer Johnny as a character. But, but you know, we'll see. We'll see yeah, how it goes. I mean, my opinions it's, change a lot. Cause that's what's so great about Cobra Kai. Is like you know, you never yeah, come out of a really season like feeling the same. You know mm. what I mean? But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you like this video. Come back, watch another. We'll be releasing more. And until then, goodbye.